Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into JC's Field for the first game of this final weekend series for the SFA Lumberjacks. The home team here in Nacogdoches will take on cross-border rival Northwestern State out of Nacogdoches, Louisiana. The Demons come into this one sitting in fourth place in the Southland Conference with an overall record of 25 and 21 and a conference record of 19 and 13. As we get into this one, I'll go over the lineups for you. For the Demons, Larson Fontenot will lead off in the first spot. Batting second, Dante Stewart. Batting third is Tyler Smith. Batting cleanup for the Demons is Marshall Skinner. Cam Sibley, Kendall Foster, and Peyton Davis. Batting fifth, sixth, and seventh. And rounding out the bottom of the lineup, Jake Hayes and Austin Kirkpatrick batting 8th and ninth. Cal Carver on the mound to start this one for the Demons. And on the other side of the ball, in right field and batting first, number 4, Cam Crawford. 
in center field, batting second. Number one, Kyle Cullen, batting third and catching for the Lumberjacks this evening, Skylar Black. Number eight, Shaw Moore will be playing left field this evening and batting fourth for the Lumberjacks. Adrian Menares will bat fifth and will occupy the DH role in this first matchup. Cal Martin, Garrett Getz, and Cheney Dodge will round out the 6th, 7th, and 8th spot. Martin playing first base, Getz playing third base, and Cheney Dodge occupying second. And Jacob Evangelista will round out the lineup. Playing shortstop and batting ninth. Joseph Scambolari on the mound here to start this one as we get ready for the first pitch of the evening. Scambolari's first pitch is a strike. Scambolari ahead of Larson Fontenot. One ball to two strikes here to start off this game. And that one swung on a miss for strike three. Scambolari with the first strikeout of the evening on the first batter. Dante Stewart will come to the plate here. Stewart occupying second base on the defensive side of the ball for the Demons. Get his first look at Scambolari. Stewart comes into this one batting 284. Has played and started in all 46 games so far this season for the Demons. The only to do so in the starting lineup. The freshman has seven home runs and 30 RBIs to his name as he takes that one outside for ball one. Stewart has scored 23 runs off of 46 hits, has 12 doubles along with those seven home runs. He's also been walked 39 times. And has struck out 36. That one in the zone for strike three, and Scambolari's second strikeout in a row to start this one off. Tyler Smith now coming to the plate. The demon right fielder in this first matchup. That one misses the count now 2-0 and oh for the Lumberjack senior. And that time, Scambolari finds his own for strike one. Smith, the senior for the Demons, hitting 179 so far this season. Has made 78 plate appearances. Has scored 13 runs off of 14 hits. Has two doubles, two home runs, and four RBIs to his name. He finds himself in a 3-1 count here. As that one's popped high. Dodge going back for it. And he gets underneath it and finally comes back to the glove for the final out. 
The Lumberjacks see three batters and send three batters back to the dugout. We'll be back with the Lumberjack to the plate for the first time this evening after this. All right, welcome here to the bottom of the first inning. Cam Crawford coming to the plate for the Lumberjacks to lead off this game. Crawford been in the leadoff spot the majority of the year. As he sees his first pitch from Cal Carver. That one off the plate for ball one. Crawford comes into this one hitting 248. Has played him 42 of the 43 games Lumberjacks have played this season. Crawford, in his 145 plate appearances, has scored 29 runs off of 36 hits, has two doubles, one triple, and five home runs, along with 18 RBIs. Finds himself in a 1-1 count here. As that one off the plate for ball two. Big swing from Crawford there, and can't quite get the bat to it, as the count's now even at two and two. Carver with the delivery. That one chopped into the alley between short, and a good job by Demon shortstop. Cam Sibley to get a glove to that, not able to Get the ball over to first in time, though, to get the out. As Lumberjacks now with a no-out base runner here to start off this one. And Kyle Cullen coming to the plate. That would have had to be an extraordinary play by Sibley. It was kind of a slow roller into the gap between short and third. He was able to get his glove to it by the time he was there. His body fell in the other direction. He would not have had time to get it to first. With the speed of Campbell off the plate. And Cullen tries to bunt. That one. Lands in foul territory. Crawford at first. Has stolen... 10 bases on 16 attempts so far this season. As Cullen lays that one down the first baseline. Carver able to collect and send it to the first for the out. 
But Kyle Cullen done, doing what Kyle Cullen does best. One of the best in the country at the sacrifice bunt as he heads back to the dugout. Crawford now standing on second with Skylar Black at the plate. The Lumberjack senior has five home runs and 27 RBIs to his name in this season. Has been a big piece of this Lumberjack baseball team for the past couple of years. Black. One of the three really lumberjacks that will occupy the space behind the batter on the defensive side of the ball throughout the weekend. Him, Adrian Menares, and Jake Zarello. All three rotate in that catcher's position as the other two will share the responsibility of DH when they're not behind the plate. Black finds himself in a 1-1 count here. One out on the board for the Lumberjacks and a base runner at second. As Carver drops that one in for strike two. Carver came into the game with a 3.12 ERA, has six wins and four losses to his name in his 12 appearances. Started all 12 of those games. As Black will chop that to short. That one off the forearm. Sibley not able to corral that one this time. As that one rolled up his forearm. He was able to collect the ball and send it over to first in time for the second out. That'll put Crawford at third base. Sean Moore going to have to find grass to bring that first run across. Moore has occupied third base for the majority of this season and his career here in Nacogdoches. Playing left field this evening. Swings at the first pitch he sees from Carver and misses four strike one. Carver's pitched three complete games, has 72 innings of work under his belt, has given up 57 hits, 31 runs, 25 of those earned. As he gets ahead of Sean Moore here, 0-2, in the bottom of the first inning. Carver has 71 strikeouts to his name, to just 26 walks. As Moore gets a hold of that one, to send that into the gap between right and center. Hangs up in the air just a little too long, as... Right fielder Tyler Smith able to get underneath it for the final out. The Lumberjacks leave one on the base paths. And we'll head back to the dugout. All knotted up here early in Nacogdoches. We'll be back with more Lumberjack baseball after this.
As we get ready for the second inning, Joseph Scambolari back on the mound for the Lumberjacks. He will see Marshall Skinner for his first batter here in the second. Coming off the plate, four ball one. Scambolari stuck out, struck out the first two batters he faced in the first inning. And got Tyler Smith to hit into a pop out. Just behind second base. The lower jack pitcher unable to find the zone in his first two pitches this inning. As that one chopped slowly towards short, Evangelista will field and gets it over to first in time for the first out here in the second inning. And now Cam Sibley coming to the plate. Sibley made a really good defensive play in the fir first inning. Wasn't able to get the ball over to first in time, but did a good job of just getting there, keeping that ball in the infield. Crawford could have found his way to second if Sibley wasn't able to collect. First pitch he takes is a strike from Scambolari. That one inside, and Sibley takes a big swing at it. Misses for strike two. Sibley coming into this one batting 214. Has played in 42 games. Started all 42 of them as he swings and misses for strike three. That's Scambolari's third strikeout of the evening early in this one. Kendall Foster will come to the plate now. Foster, the center fielder for the Demons. The sophomore batting 187. In his 75 plate appearances, he's scored nine runs on 14 hits, has two doubles, four home runs, and 11 RBIs to his name. The first pitch he sees from Scambolari is off the plate for ball one. Scambolari yet to find the zone against Foster. The count now 3-0 for the Demon sophomore. The bat stays on the shoulder, and the zone is found. The count now 3-1 here with two outs in the top of the second. And that one misses the outside corner. For ball four, and the Demons now with a two-out base runner early in this one. Peyton Davis, the junior first baseman, following Foster as Davis comes into this one batting 225 and has 102 plate appearances, has 11 runs off of 23 hits, six doubles, three home runs, and 13 RBIs. Skimbalari sends that over to first to check on Foster. It was a little low and in the dirt. Good job by first baseman Cal Martin to dig that one out. The first pitch down the pipe for Davis is a strike. That one gets past Martin, and it's in the corner as Foster will make his way all the way to third. Critical error there by Scambolari. 
So now the Demons have a base runner on third here. Still two outs. Foster came into the game with zero stolen base attempts. That one missing the zone. Scambleria now with some work to do. Has to shake off that play. And get this final batter out at the plate. No more plays to be made on the base paths. Just has to worry about Davis in the box. Down in the count, 2-1 here. Scambleria misses just low there. The count now three and one. And that one fouled back. And it'll run the count full. Three balls, two strikes with two outs on the board. Three-two pitch, chop towards short. Evangelista will collect, send it over to first for the final out. The Lumberjacks get out of that one, and we'll head to the plate here in the bottom of the second. The score is still zero-zero. We'll be back with more Lumberjack baseball after this. Andrew Minara is coming to the plate for the Lumberjacks to lead off this bottom of the second. His first pitch from Carver off the plate for ball one. Minares comes into this one with the best batting average in the lineup for the Lumberjacks, batting 349. As he swings at that one off the plate for strike one. Minares in his 63 plate appearances. Has eight runs on 22 hits, six doubles, and 10 RBIs. That foul even the count at two balls, two strikes. For the Lumberjack DH, mentioned it before, but Menares will also occupy the space behind the plate as the catcher at some point this weekend. One of the three active 
catchers for the Lumberjacks. He's also spent some time at first base. We'll see where he ends up as the weekend progresses. Menares lays off that one. Got to run the count full of three balls, two strikes. Carver. Just going to have to wait for the payoff pitch. Time called at the plate. The three two pitch. Shot back as Maros will stay alive. That one off the plate four, ball four. Loma Jacks now with the base runner on first and no outs on the board. And Cal Martin coming to the plate. Martin batting 179 in, on the season. The freshman, just 28 plate appearances. Has an opportunity here with the teammate on first to kick start this Loma Jack offense. Martin takes strike one. Carver will go and check on Menares over at first. Martin gets a hold of that one, sends it out to right. It'll find grass, and Monaro's around second and get into third. Slotting, but not necessary. Good job by the Lumberjack freshman, first baseman, to keep the Lumberjacks offense alive here in the second. Now runners on first and third, and no outs on the board. With number five, Gary Getz coming to the plate. Gets playing third base this evening. The junior batting 269 on his 26 plate appearances has scored twice off of seven hits as he takes strike one. Gets also has one double and one home run with two RBIs to his name. Quickly in the hole, 0-2. Homer Jacks would like to see this be at least a productive out if he's not to reach base. Keeping that ball in the air in the outfield will, at the very least, Likely bring Menares home. That one fouled back. As Getz stays alive. Carver with the 0-2 delivery off the plate and Getz does not chase. The count now 1-2. and two.
Good job by the Lumberjack freshman, or junior rather, to battle here in the box. Making his ninth start of this season. The one-two pitch. Hit and sent into the gap into right field as that one will hit the warning track and bounce off the wall. The Greensman R is around. The uncertainty of where that ball was going to land. Kept Martin close to the base. Now with Lumberjacks on first and second, or second and third rather, no outs on the board. Second baseman Cheney Dodge will come to the plate. Big swing by Dodge. Just over that one for strike one. Dodge shows bunt and pulls back, but strike is called. Now on the count, 0-2. Lumberjacks with runners on second and third. No outs on the board. Good shiny Cardenas would like to see Dodge get this one in the grass. Past the infield. And keep the scoring in this inning going. That one hit high in the center field. The ball is sent to third as Martin comes home. A sack fly for Cheney Dodge. And now, Homer Jacks double their lead. Demons are going to come and talk to Carver. It says, as he's about to see the last batter in the Lumberjack lineup. Jacob Evangelista coming to the plate as the Demons break up their huddle. Evangelista batting 213 in his 26 appearances on the year. First pitch Evangelista sees is off the plate for ball one. Garrett Gads standing on second is one for one in stolen bases. With one out on the board, he's on the move as that one's sent into right field. It'll land and head towards the corner. That's going to bring Getz around and Evangelista. Sliding into third, he doesn't make it in time, and he is thrown out. As he didn't quite have the speed to get to third base, but he does bring around the run. As the Lumberjacks now flip up the lineup card, as Cam Crawford will come to the plate. The bases are clear for the Lumberjack right fielder. 
Takes strike one. A big swing gets past Crawford, who's in an 0-2 hole. Singled the first time he was at the plate. That one, well, outside of the zone for ball one. Crawford's first at bat. Dribbled into the hole between second and short. Sibley had to do, do some work to get his glove to the ball. By the time it got there, Crawford was just about to first base. Sibley was falling away. Didn't have enough juice on the throw to get there in time. Would have had to have been a pretty spectacular play. Crawford had found himself in an 0-2 hole at this at bat. Now find himself in a 3-2 count as Carver ready for the payoff pitch. Just high and out of the zone for ball four. And the Lumberjacks have a two-out base runner with Cam Crawford. Standing at first for the second time in as many innings. And Kyle Cullen coming to the plate. Cullen sack bunted his first plate appearance. Can't imagine that's going to be the call here. Don't have it out to give. Cullen batting 261. And his 115 plate appearances has scored 22 runs on 30 hits. Has three doubles and one triple to his name with seven RBIs. Crawford on the move. Gets the second in plenty of time. Crawford now 11 for 17 in the stolen base attempts. Cullen finds himself in an 0-2 hole. Carver would just like to get out of the inning. Has given up three runs so far in this bottom of the second. I'd like to head back to the dugout and get his offense to the plate for a chance to get back into this one. Cullen chops that over to third. The play is made in the final out. Recorded. The Lumberjacks score three here in the bottom of the second. As we head to the third inning, the score 3-0. We'll be back with more Lumberjack baseball after this. Joseph Scambaleri back on the mound for a third inning of action here. The first batter he'll see is number five, Jake Hayes. Hey, 
Hayes takes strike one. One one pitch. Just tying out of the zone for ball two. Scambler evens the count. With that one right down Main Street. These two program softball teams met last night in the Southland Conference Tournament in Hammond, Louisiana. The Lady Jacks won that one 4-1. As that one chopped to third. We'll take an awkward bounce over the bag. As the Demons have a leadoff base runner here to start this third inning. Austin Kirkpatrick to the plate. The catcher for the Demons, batting 271. The junior, in his 48 plate appearances, has seven runs off of 13 hits, two doubles, and two RBIs. Scambleri out of the zone. In the Southland Softball Tournament, the Lady Demons run ruled Sam Houston State in the elimination bracket as they will play again this evening against Central Arkansas as that's strike three and the fourth strikeout for Scambolari so far in this one. Now back to the top of the lineup card. Larson Fontenot at the plate. Some chirping coming from the NSU coaches. Not happy about that last strikeout call. Fontenot struck out his first plate appearance. Skim Larry sends that over to first and an awkward throw again. We saw him throw one past... Martin over at first in the last half inning. Brought a runner over to third. As the bunt tried to be laid down. Pops way high and hits the roof over the press box. Well, even the count of one ball, one strike. One out on the board. Fontenot also wearing number one. If you were here at J.C.'s Field, you see ones across the top of the board. The 1-1 one -one pitch in the dirt. Counting out a 2-1. and one. The Lady Demons will face Central Arkansas tonight in the quarterfinals to see who will face SFA in the elimination bracket. The Lady Jacks falling to McNeese. On the top half of the bracket earlier this afternoon. The double elimination tournament will conclude tomorrow. 
Lady Jacks wait to see who they play after tonight's final matchup. Fontenot walked and will head over to first base. J.K. Hayes makes his way over to second. Dante Stewart. Struck out looking his first plate appearance. Now has runners at first and second with just one out on the board. Has an opportunity to, at the very least, get allowed out here. As he swings the first pitch he sees and will send that back towards center field. Cullen back on the warning track as... He'll try to get the runner at second. The throw in time as Fontenot slides off the base. A really good job by center fielder Kyle Cullen to get that double played. Lumberjacks will head back to the plate, leading 3-0 here in the bottom of the third. We'll be back with more Lumberjack baseball after this. Skylar Black will lead off third inning here for the Lumberjacks. He takes first pitch strike. Black grounded out in his first plate appearance. The Lumberjack senior hitting 306. We'll send that out to right field. This play is made for the first out of the inning. Sean Moore will come to the plate now. Wind out to right in his first plate appearance. That went in for strike one. The Lumberjacks scored three in the second. To open up a 3-0 lead here in the first game of this four-game series. That one bounces past the catcher. Count now two and one. The 3-1 pitch. 
High and out of the zone for ball four. Lumberjacks now with the base runner, one out on the board here in the third. Adrian Menares comes to the plate. Menares walked the first time he was at the plate. Came around and scored as he let off that second inning. Moore thrown out as trying to steal second. Now two outs on the board. That one. Sitting down the first baseline. Says Menares just held his swing. Carver misses the zone again. The 2 a pitch inside. We'll see if Menares has the green light here. I would imagine the battle will stay on his shoulder. Early in this one, no need to swing here and take the extra base if you can. As that one catch to the outside for strike one. That one high out of the zone. Four ball four. The Lumberjacks have, retake a base runner here. At first as Menares walked for the second time this evening. Cal Martin singled his first plate appearance coming to the plate. Carver having a little trouble finding the zone here. That one way off the plate. Good job by catcher Austin Kirkpatrick to get behind it. Menares has speed over at first. Not the fastest player on the roster, but we'll make you pay if you make a mistake like that. Again, Kirkpatrick having to hop up to catch that one. You expect this one's out of the zone. See some NSU coaches coming out of the dugout. Ball three. As this one likely to stay on the shoulder of Martin. That one really high, but umpire behind the plate says strike one. Martin was ready to toss the bat back to the third base dugout. That's two strikes in the last eight pitches. And none of those other six have been close. Menares back to the bag. The ball beat him there, but the tag didn't. The three one pitch. Hence hits sky high. Right behind first base. Moved a little bit in the air and the play is made. The Lumberjacks will head to the fourth inning. Still with a 3-0 lead. We'll be back with more Lumberjack baseball after this.
Skimbalari on the mound here for the Lumberjacks in the fourth inning. First batter he'll see is Tyler Smith. Smith takes strike one. The right fielder for the Demons popped out his first time at the plate. Finds himself on a 1-2 count here to lead off this fourth inning. That one hiding out of the zone. It'll even the count at two apiece. Scambleri has four strikeouts to his name so far. That one drops out of the zone and will run the count full. The payoff pitch. Chopped back off the net. Uh, Smith loses his helmet. This will be the last weekend of baseball for the SFA Lumberjacks. Serving a one-year penalty for NCAA violation. As that one misses the zone. And Demons will have a leadoff base runner here in the fourth inning. The Lumberjacks 16 and 27 overall, 13 and 18 in conference play. Scambleary finds his own for strike one. Lumberjack Sr. has worked his way into the Friday night starters role as that one hit foul down the left field line, landing just a foot or two in foul territory. Could have been dangerous. The 0-2 pitch swung on a miss for strike three. And the first out of the inning. The fifth strikeout for Scambleri as Cam Sibley will come to the plate. Sibley, one of those five Ks in his first plate appearance. That one bouncing in front of Skylar Black. Does a good job to keep it in front of him. One of the best catchers in the Southland. That one off the hand of Sibley. Umpire saying that one hit off the knob of the bat. Head coach Bobby Barbier coming out just to talk about that one. His shortstop shaking out his hand. Barbier just a little confused as to 
Why his shortstop's in pain if that one came off the knob of the bat? He'll head back to the dugout. And Sibley will head back to the batter's box. Play resumes as that one's low and in the dirt. Tyler Smith thought for a half second about heading over to second. Sky Black was up and ready to throw him out at first or second, whichever base he preferred. Black, one of the best catchers in the Southland. An outstanding tracker picking off players is that one sent into shallow left center field. Moore slides to get in front of the ball as the play is made. Rather, the run comes across the plate. Coach Johnny Cardenas out of the first base or the third base dugout quickly to argue the call at third. Skyler Black thought he had the throw in time over to the bag. So we're doing a good job of keeping his body in contact with the plate as he slid past it. Demons cut the Lumberjacks lead in the third here as Sibley standing on third with a one-out triple and an RBI to his name. Tyler Smith came around and scored. Now Kendall Foster who walked and ended up at third after the pass ball sent over to first on the pickoff attempt. Chops that one back and the count now 0-2. Scambleri with the 0-2 delivery. That one drops in the zone for strike three, and that's the second strikeout of the inning. Number six on the evening. As Peyton Davis comes to the plate, Davis grounded out. First time he was at the plate. Has a teammate standing on third. Going to have to find... Grass past the infield as Sibley took a big lead coming down the third baseline. Looked for a second as if he was going to try to steal home. Scambler misses the zone. The count now one and one. The righty keeping his eye on Sibley over at third. No one holding him there. Scambleri dropping that one just outside of the top inside corner. One more deck pitcher. Just has one out to worry about. It's got to be the guy at the plate. Not much you can do about Sibley at there. You just got to get Davis out. As that one out of the zone for three straight balls. They count now three and one. Davis steps out. Readjusts his batting gloves. His teammates with some words of encouragement out of the first base dugout. Telling him to drive it with the barrel of the ball to the wall. As that one's in the dirt for ball four. And now the Demons runners on first and third and two outs with Jake Hayes coming to the plate. Hayes singled the last time he was at the plate. Skylar Black steps in front of home plate. 
just to give his infield an idea of what they want to do here. That one in the dirt. The Demons looking to cut into the lead here again. Already scored one here in the fourth. The 3-1 pitch from Scambolari. As that one sent back and well high from Skylar Black down the third baseline. Still with plenty of time to get back to the bag. That one misses just outside of the zone for ball two. And that one inside. It's kind of Larry having some troubles finding the zone here as of late. Just two strikes thrown in the last two batters. Four balls to Davis, and now three here for Hayes. And that one misses outside for ball four. Now the bases are loaded for the Demons. Austin Kirkpatrick coming to the plate. Kirkpatrick. Has two RBIs to his name and no home runs. Has two doubles. In a very big spot here. The junior has an opportunity to at least tie this one up, if not get his team the lead with one swing of the bat. Scambleri finds his own. Four, strike one. And SC dugout continuing with their advice of driving it. As Kirkpatrick swings past that for strike two. The catcher struck out looking the first time he was at the plate. Scambleri would like to see the same outcome here. He'll take a strikeout swinging as well as the 0-2 pitch off the plate and bounces off of Black. Scambolari tries to shovel it back to the catcher and doesn't get it there in time. The Lumberjack lead cut to one as Sibley finally comes home. To also advance Davis and Hayes to third and second. That one, taking a hard bounce off of the chest plate of Scholar Black. Giving Sibley enough room to get in. Is that one at the feet of Black? And that's going to bring one runner home. And now there's action in the Lumberjack bullpen as the game is tied on two pass balls. J.K. is over at third now. And the count two and two for Kirkpatrick. And that one missing for ball three, and the count runs full. The 3-2 pitch. Chop back towards Scambolari, and that'll get under the glove. Dodge gets the throw in time for the third and final out to keep this game level at three apiece. The Lumberjacks will come back to the plate here in the bottom of the fourth after that. Sports Center top ten play from second baseman Cheney Dodge. We'll be back with more Lumberjack baseball after this.
after a three run top of the fourth. The Lumberjacks come to the plate here and try to regain the lead. Garrett gets the first to the plate for the Lumberjacks. Doubled. Has an RBI to his name in this one. As he chops that down the third baseline. It'll land just on the foul side of the bag. Would have been an easy first out for the Demons. Carver back on the mound for the Demons. This is outside for ball one. That one in for strike two. Swinging a miss, strike three. That one in the dirt. Gets not able to get over to first in time. As first out recorded here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Cheney Dodge coming to the plate. Dodge hit a sack fly out to center field. Bringing Cal Martin around as he takes a big swing at the first pitch he sees. A similar swing the first time he was at the plate. That one off the plate for ball one. The Lumberjack second baseman made a really good play in the bottom of the fourth to get the, or the top of the fourth right, to get the Lumberjacks off of the field. Kept another demon run from scoring as he was able to ground the chopper and send it over to first for the final out. He takes ball two inside. The count now two balls, two strikes. The 2-2 pitch. Shot towards short. Sibley able to collect and will send it over to first for the second out of the inning. Jacob Evangelista coming to the plate. Was scored double his first plate appearance, but tried to extend that to a triple and was thrown out at third. He takes ball one. Evangelista also credited with an RBI as he brought Garrett Getz around. In the bottom of the second, he'll chop that over to second. And the play is made. And the Lumberjacks send three to the plate and will send three back to the dugout. We'll be back with more Lumberjack Baseball after this.
Larson Fontenot at the plate to start this fifth inning for the Demons. His third time to see Joseph Scambolari takes strike one. Quickly down in the count, 0 2. Scambolari working quickly here in the fifth inning. As that one chopped to second, Dodge gets behind it. We'll send it over to first for the first out of the inning. Dante Stewart coming to the plate. Stewart, two balls and no strikes. As he swings at a high one for strike one. Stewart struck out and flew out to center in his first plate appearance. That one off the plate. The count now three and one. There are some arms that look to be ready in the bullpen for the Lumberjacks if Scambolari gets in a bit of a mess. That one sent high. In foul territory. And Getz able to get underneath it for the first out, second out of the inning. Tyler Smith coming to the plate. Popped out and walked his first two plate appearances. Came around and scored. Larry finds his own. Big swing. Number 23, Tyler Smith there. That'll even the count. Two balls, two strikes with two outs on the board. As that one just misses inside and runs count full at two ball, three balls and two strikes. That one fell it off. And that one chopped down the first base line. It'll roll over the bag and into the corner. Smith stands up at second here with two outs. Marshall Skinner coming to the plate. He's grounded out and struck out. His first two plate appearances. 
has an opportunity here with a runner in scoring position to get the Demons on top here for the first time. But we'll have to have a pretty good hit. It's going to have to find at least the fence in the gap somewhere. If he wants to give Smith a chance. Takes a big swing at that one. The count now one and one. Scambler, he had to step off the mound there. Now ready for the one-two delivery. That one shot foul down the third base line. That one in the dirt. Count now two and two. Two balls, two strikes, and two outs. And that one off the batter. And now the Demons with two base runners here. And Sibley coming to the plate. Sibley fouls that one off. The Demon shortstop tripled his last plate appearance. After one came off his hands. Also struck out. Has another opportunity for another couple RBIs on the resume. If he can find the grass. The home plate umpire says Sibley went on that one. The count now 0 2. The Demon fan's not happy with the call. It looked like he had held the barrel of the bat back.
Sam Larry goes to check on the runner at second, Tyler Smith. No SF play, SFA player was covering the bag. Could have been bad if he had thrown that one. The 0-2 pitch. Swung on a hit towards center. Cullen will come in to make the play. Easy enough for the Lumberjack center fielder. The score remains 3-3 as we head to the bottom of the fifth. The Lumberjacks will be back at the plate after this. Cam Crawford at the plate for the Lumberjacks. He sends that one over to second for the first out of the inning. Kyle Cullen coming to the plate. Colin chops that to second as well. And easy enough for the second out. Uh, Skylar Black will come to the plate with two outs here for the Lumberjacks. Skylar Black flew out to right field his last plate appearance. Takes strike one. Also grinded out to short in his first two plate appearances. He gets a hold of that one, sends it out to left field. It's going towards the corner in foul territory. And team in left fielder, Larson Fontenot, making an unbelievable play in foul territory to get the final out. The Lumberjacks will head back to the dugout as we head to the top of the sixth. We'll be back with more Lumberjack baseball after this.
Benny Emmons on the mound for the Lumberjacks here to start the sixth inning. As he'll see Kendall Foster. That one out of the zone four, ball one. Foster swings past that. The count now one and two. The Demon center fielder has struck out and grounded out his first two plate appearances. The count now even at two balls, two strikes. Emmons gets a swing and a miss, strike three. That one stays in the glove of Skylar Black. Peyton Davis to the plate has walked, coming around and scored, and grounded out in his first two plate appearances. That one chopped towards the Lumberjack dugout. That one fouled over the right field wall. Young Lumberjack fans on the chase to get that one off the Little League field. As Davis finds himself on no two hole quickly here against Benny Emmons. That one chopped towards short. Evangelista will collect. Sends over to first in time for the second out. Jake Hayes coming to the plate. Hayes singled and walked his first two plate appearances. Stranded on third. And the, bar, the top of the fourth. Would have been able to come home if not for an outstanding defensive play by Chaney Dodge. Emmons delivers the first pitch strike. And again, Emmons working ahead of these batters quickly and another 0-2 count here. That one in the dirt. The count now one and two. Hayes chops that towards second. Dodge gets behind it. Sends it over to first four of the final out. The Lumberjacks C3 and send three back to the dugout quickly. We back with the bottom of the sixth. And the Lumberjacks to the plate after this.
Sean Moore coming to the plate for the Lumberjacks here in the bottom of the sixth. We'll face Carver for another time as that one sent out to right center field. And the first half of the Lumberjacks here in the bottom of the sixth as quick as the fifth inning went. Adrian Menares coming to the plate. Menares has walked his first two plate appearances. Came around and scored in the second inning for the Lumberjacks. Takes strike one from Carver. That one high and out of the zone. The count now two and one. That one inside, missing the zone. Anara has been in this position before. Walked on a three one count the last time he was at the plate. Fouls that one back, and that'll run the count full. That one in the dirt, and Menara says the first for the third time in this game. All three times being walked by Cal Carver. Cal Martin coming to the plate. Singled in his first plate appearance. Popped out to first in his second. That one high, but called strike by the home plate umpire. That one in the dirt, and Kirkpatrick does a good job of getting behind it, keeping Menares over at first base. That one in the zone for strike two. I think Martin and the home plate umpire have a different definition of what his strike zone is. Martin seems to shrug every time a strike is called. That one well off the plate. That'll even the count of two balls, two strikes. We're next to have one out here and one runner on base. Adrian Menares standing on first. Flower Jacks got out to a 3-0 lead in the second inning and held that lead till the fourth. As that one called strike three. And that's two outs now for the Lumberjacks here in the bottom of the sixth. The Demons... Even this one up in the fourth inning, scoring three runs now. Not at a three apiece here in the bottom of the sixth. Garrett Getz coming to the plate. Oh, 
Gets takes strike one. That one sent over to first to check on Menares. Lumberjack DH back in time. That one chopped foul down the third baseline. Gets will come back to the plate. And an 0-2 count. That one sitting down the first baseline. A no go says first base umpire. One ball, two strikes. Carver sends that one back over to first and check on Menares, who makes his way back to the bag. The one to pitch. Swung on and hit high. No one can see it as that one lands. And the Lumberjacks will bring around a run. Opportunistic baseball by the Lumberjacks who retake the lead. Gets standing on third after. Right fielder Tyler Smith apparently couldn't see the ball or thought that second baseman Dante Stewart was going to get it. Miscommunication led to that one just landing in the middle of right field, allowing Adrian Menares to go from first to third, first to home rather. Now Cheney Dodge at the plate. That one misses. I mentioned earlier that Carver had gone three complete games. There's no action in the bullpen here in the sixth. Misses the zone again. We'll see if the Demons stick with their Friday night starter throughout this one or if they make a move here in the last couple innings. That one fouled back towards the Little League fields. Two, one delivery. Swung on and hit well towards center. Not quite far enough, though, as Demon's able to collect for the third out. Not before the Lumberjacks bring home their fourth run of the game. The score now 4-3. to three. The Lumberjacks lead as we head to the top of the seventh. We'll be back with more Lumberjack baseball after this.
Austin Kirkpatrick in the box for the Demons to lead off this seventh inning. Takes strike one. That one off the tip of the bat. And a good job there by number five. Garrett gets to send that over to first for the first out of this inning. Larson Fontenot. Back in the batter box for the fourth time this evening. Made an outstanding defensive play earlier in this one as he sends that one to short left field. Sean Moore will come in as that one comes out of his glove. Two fielding errors now, one by each team. That one likely to be scored an error. The NSU play that led to the Lumberjack fourth run of the evening, not scored an error as no one actually made the play. Moore bobbled that one off the glove, and now Fontenot stands at first with one out here in the seventh inning. Dante Stewart to the plate, has struck out, flown out, and popped out in his first three plate appearances. That one in the zone, even the count of one ball, one strike. That one in the dirt. Benny Amon still on the mound for the Lumberjacks. Uh, is that one sent over to first? Check on Fontenot. Emmons with the 2-1 delivery as that one shot down the third baseline foul. That'll even the count of two balls, two strikes. Stewart, part of that mix up with Tyler Smith, who's in the on-deck circle, out in right field in the bottom of the sixth. Stewart thought Smith was getting it, and I think Smith couldn't find it in the lights. Edmonds. Checking on Fontenot again over at first. That one in the zone for strike three. And that's the second out of the inning for the Lumberjacks. Second time Stewart has struck out looking in his four plate appearances. And now Tyler Smith, who has walked, doubled, and popped out in his first three plate appearances, takes strike one. Big swing there by Smith out of that pitch for the second strike of the at bat. Now finds himself in an 0 2 hole here. The 0 2 pitch, that one just inside for ball one.
Hammonds finding the same spot. And Smith not going on it. The count now two and two. Two balls, two strikes, and two outs on the board. The third straight pitch inside by Emmons. The count now full. Good job by Smith in the box to be patient. Uh, is that one inside for ball four? And the Demons with two base runners and two outs here in the top of the seventh. Marshall Skinner to the plate. Walked the last time he was in the batter's box. He's also struck out and grounded out. Skinner swings early and gets a hold of that one. Sends that over the lumberjack dugout on the third baseline. Back towards their new hitting and pitching facility. An indoor complex here in Nacogdoches that is going to greatly benefit this program and the softball program for years to come. As these coaching staffs use technology to kind of hone in their players' skills. Break down pitches and see just where someone's missing or where a batter may be turning just a little too early or extending a little bit too much on their swing. Hammond's out of the zone. The count now two and one. Black able to field that one. And everyone here supporting the home team, playing on the home team, and in any way, shape, or form tied to the home team, thought that one was out. First base umpire said that Tyler Smith was able to get back to the bag in time. It's a good job by Scott Black to send it down to Martin and got the tag down. It's a close play either way. The count now three and one. And that one inside for ball four. And now the base is loaded with two outs here in the seventh inning for the Demons. And Cam Sibley coming to the plate. Good Johnny Cardenas will head out to the mound. Rather, Dylan Belanger looks like heading out to the mound. Talk with Emmons. There are arms warming up in the Lumberjack bullpen, as well as the Demon bullpen. Belanger just going through the situation here. Base is loaded with two outs. Just walking through the scenario and how best to get Sibley out at home. Sibley takes a big swing in the first pitch he sees, and Emmons able to get it by him for strike one. The 
NCAA has popped out to center. Tripled and struck out in his first three plate appearances. He watches that one for ball one. That one fouled off. The count now one and two. Emmons. Big pitch here coming up. An opportunity to get out of this jam here in the seventh. The inning could have been over. As Larson Fontenot hit one out to the left field for Sean Moore, who bobbled the catch. Would have been the second out of the inning. As Sibley skies that one over the press box. The count's still one and two. And that one sent high in the infield. Gets underneath it for the final out. Sibley spiked his bat. As soon as he hit it, he knew that wasn't going to help his team out. We'll be back after the seventh inning stretch after this. Jacob Evangelista coming to the plate here. In the bottom of seventh, the leadoff for the Lumberjacks. For any NSU fans out there, the Lady Demons in the softball tournament currently down 5-2 to two to UCA in the top of the seventh inning. Evangelista takes strike one. And we'll foul that one off for strike two. Carver's still on the mound as Evangelista will send that one into the gap. The Lumberjacks will lead off single here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Cam Crawford coming to the plate. Crawford has singled, walked, and grounded out to second. In his first three plate appearances, has an opportunity to keep the Lumberjack bats hot here as Evangelista started the inning with a single. Into right center field. And Crawford will send that one in the same spot. It'll land. And the Lumberjacks quickly with two base runners here. In the bottom of the seventh, no outs on the board. Back, 
Kyle Cullen to the plate. Has already sack bunted once in this game. We'll see if Coach Cardenas has him lay another down. Move both runners into scoring position. Or we'll let him swing away here. Cullen, one of the best in the country at laying down the sack bunt. And he does show bunt. Misses for strike one. Cullen shows bunt again. That one bouncing in the dirt. And that'll advance both runners. And now Cullen with an opportunity to swing here. Unless he looks to lay down the squeeze bunt. I have a feeling that's not going to be the call. Carver spiked that one. Four feet in front of the plate. And I think that'll be it for him. We'll be back with your new demon pitcher after this break. Cullen back in the batter's box as he will see number 38, Evan Daigle. Daigle comes in with a runner on first, or second and third rather for the Lumberjacks. No outs on the board. And Cullen gets out of the way after he swings on that. That one gets underneath the catcher. The Lumberjacks add one to their lead here. Go, go, go. 
Calling in a 1-2 count. As he swings past that for strike three. And the first out of the inning for the Lumberjacks. Skylar Black coming to the plate. Black has grounded out once and flown out twice. Has a runner on third. If he can get this one at least to the outfield. At least to count for an RBI here. That one out of the zone for Daigle. And that one well off the plate. Daigle not happy with the delivery, although this looks like Cameron Taylor, not Evan Daigle. Thought I'd read 38 on the back of the jersey. It turns out it's 39. Taylor sends that one down the middle for strike one. The 2-1 pitch out of zone for ball three. The 3-1 pitch chopped back, and that'll run the count full. Two balls, two strikes, and one out on the board here for the Lumberjacks. Sean Moore standing in the on-deck circle. And Cam Crawford standing on third. The 3-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three for Skylar Black as Taylor gets his second strikeout of the inning. Sean Moore, who has flown out, thrown out, and lined out his first three plane appearances. Coming to the plate. The usual third baseman for the Lumberjacks. Playing left field this evening. The lone error on the board. Credited to Sean Moore. As he looks to bring Cam Crawford around here. That one off the plate. Moore has 22 RBIs, second most of any starter on this roster. As he takes that one low for strike one. Taylor, 1-1 one, one delivery. That one chopped up the middle. And under the glove. Sibley, not able to get his glove down to it. And that'll bring home another Lumberjack run here with two outs as they extend their lead to three. And Sibley will be credited with an error on that play as Adrian Menares comes to the plate. Menares has been walked all three times. He's been at home in the batter's box this evening.
first pitch he sees is a strike from Cameron Taylor. Taylor goes and checks on Moore over at first. Moore back at the base in plenty of time. Long Jack left fielder is two for four in stolen base attempts this season. Moore on the move. That throw. Would have been in time, but not dug out of the dirt by Stewart. And now the Lumpjacks, one of the runner in scoring position with two outs on the board. Menara is going to have to find grass somewhere. If he wants to keep this inning alive. That one chopped a short. And that one under Sibley again. The Demon shortstop having a tough time here fielding in this seventh inning. And Cal Martin will come to the plate. That one popped over to second and Sibley rolling and tossing over to Stewart to end the inning. I'm sure he's happy to get back to the dugout after a couple errors on his part. The Lumberjacks retake the lead and extend it to three here. So we head to the top of the eighth. We'll be back with more Lumberjack baseball after this.
Lance Koch in the game here for the Lumberjacks to start off this eighth inning. The first pitch he sends down the pipe is a strike for Kendall Foster. That one fouled off the count quickly 0-2 for the center fielder. That one inside. The count now one and two. And that one fouled back into the glove for Koch's first strikeout of his appearance. And now Peyton Davis coming to the plate. That one chopped foul towards the third base, stuck out. Koch missing the zone there. Count now one and one. That one. And sky high and foul. Davis has grounded out, walked, and grounded out his first three plate appearances. Yeah. Davis swings for strike three and the second out of the inning. J.K. is coming to the plate. Hayes is singled, walked, and grounded out. First three times he stepped in the batter's box this evening. Like to get his Demons offense kick-started here. They're down three runs to the Lumberjacks here late in this one. That one in the zone for strike one. Koch works his way ahead. One ball and two strikes. One two pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three for the third strike out of the inning. Three up, three down for Lance Koch. We'll be back with Lumberjacks at the plate here in the bottom of the eighth after this.
Clay Laranger coming to the plate for his first at bat of the evening. Take strike one. Chops that one in the gap between third and short. And Larange will head to second. The stand up double. Although, may end up being scored a single with an advance on the error. Left fielder Larson Fontenot lost that one a little bit on the fielding error. Lumberjacks with a base runner and no outs here to start off the bottom of the eighth inning. It looks like number 41, Andrew Cassio, is at the plate, or on the mound, rather. Number 51, Cal Campbell coming to the plate. Campbell showed bunt and pulled that back. That one off the hands for strike one. Campbell shows the bunt again, and that one low and out of the zone for ball two. Another good layoff by Campbell. The count now three and one. Casio with the three one delivery. Campbell shows bunt all the way, and that one out of the zone for ball four. The Lumberjacks now with a runner on first and second, and no outs here as Jacob Evangelista comes to the plate. Evangelista showing Bunn as well. That one missing. Seems as if the Lumberjacks are going to force Cassio to pitch to the bat. That one popped high. And Cassio makes the play. 
unproductive out there for Evangelista, who will head back to the dugout. Cam Crawford coming to the plate. Crawford has singled twice, walked, and grounded out. First four times he's been at the plate this evening. Has an opportunity to extend the Lumberjacks' lead here with a runner in scoring position and another on first. A hard hit here. Well, a single hard hit could get him a couple RBIs to his name, but now he was hit hard by Cassio's pitch, and now Kyle Cullen will come to the plate with the bases juiced here. One out on the board. Cullen, yet to leave the yard this year. It'd be a perfect time to do it. Has seven RBIs to his name. And that one inside. That one high out of the zone again. Casio hasn't really been able to find the zone. Majority of his pitches have been off the plate. The 2 0 pitch high again as arms continue to warm up in the bullpen. For the Demons. I assume Cullen's best can stay on his shoulder here. Is that one inside for ball four? And Lumberjacks will walk another run across the plate. Scott Black. Up next for the Lumberjacks. A big power bat here. Could really help put a crooked number up here for the Lumberjacks if he gets a good hold of a pitch. That being said, Casio yet to really find the zone. May in turn not help Skyler send this one yard. As that one in the zone for strike one. Quickly to no two count here. Swing and a miss, strike three for the second out of the inning. And now Sean Moore coming to the plate. Be the seventh batter at the plate this inning. He fouls off the first pitch he sees for strike one. Beautiful night here in Nacogdoches. Cool. Not humid yet. Not quite into those full Texas summer nights. That one low and in the dirt.
That one high again. The sophomore. Had a couple strikes down the pipe with Black in the first pitch to Moore, and since then has been high and out of the zone. That one chopped back. The count runs full, three balls, two strikes, two outs on the board. Runners moving. And that one fouled back to stay alive. Everyone will retake their places. Cullen was already halfway to third. By the time that one had bounced off the net. 3-2 pitch. Fouled off again by Moore. Another 3 2 delivery inside for a ball four, and that'll bring another run across the plate. And Cam Crawford steals home. First base umpire. Although the first base umpire is saying that ball. Made contact with Moore. The home plate umpire agreeing with the call. Coach Cardenas. Happy to give the home plate um, or the first base umpire rather an earful. And that'll send Crawford back to third and Cullen back to second. And that looks like it'll be it for Cassio. We will... Be back with your new pitcher after this.
Ethan Francis on the mound, the junior right-hander coming in here in the bottom of the eighth. Base is loaded as Adrian Menares comes to the plate. Menares, the last batter, rather the eighth batter to come to the plate, has reached on an error and walked three times. That one popped high into foul territory. That is caught for the final out. The Lumberjacks add two here in the bottom of the eighth. And now the Demons going to need at least five to continue this one. As we head to the top of the ninth, we'll be back with more Lumberjack baseball after this. Austin Kirkpatrick leading off this inning for the Demons. That one in for strike one. Lance Koch back on the mound for the Lumberjacks. Quickly head 0-2 here. Kirkpatrick has struck out and grounded out in his first three plate appearances. That one popped high. Behind him plate, Scott Black underneath it for the first out. And now, Larson Fontenot back to the plate. Fontenot sends that out in the left field. That'll land in front of Moore. And the Demons now with a base runner and one out on the board here in the top of the ninth inning. Dante Stewart to the plate. Demon second baseman has struck out twice, flown out and popped out in his first four plate appearances. He 
he takes that one off the plate for ball one. Koch finds his own. The count now two and one for the Demon second baseman. That one inside. Sitting down the first baseline and first base umpire says no swing. The 3-1 pitch swung on and hit a mile high as Sean Moore comes in to make the play. Moore, I guess, now playing third base. As Cal Campbell occupies second and Clayton LaRange out at left field. One out to play with here for Demons as Tyler Smith now to the plate. Take strike one from Koch. That one hit high into shallow center field. Kyle Cullen comes and collects for the final out. The Lumberjacks win the first game of this four-game series, 8-3. to three. Scored three in the second, one in the sixth, two in the seventh, and two in the eighth. We'll be back with more Lumberjack baseball tomorrow. But for now, I've been Carl Berry.